Yeah, he might be on mute, I guess. You're Can muted. you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> this was not, not easy. <laughs> not easy, but thank you for keeping at it. Well, I, I can't tell you how many times I retype those numbers. And I'm just like, Gail, Gail had to make a mistake on these numbers. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> he did. Yeah, I've got I've got that uh I switched my keyboard over to the the type kind where you long press on a letter and it turns it into a number. Oh. <laughs> but it's um it's the, there's a bit of a learning curve in that. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. So we appreciate you taking the the extra effort to connect it. So thanks very much I, for joining us. I was about to give up. I, I, well, yes, but you are a man with of of stick pers perseverance and persistence. So there you thanks, go. Thanks very much. Um, and Toby, I'm not sure where he is. So <laughs> we're just going to go ahead now that we've got a. We've got a quorum and we're going to, um, I'm going to call the meeting to order at 6.54. Okay. And um, we'll appoint you a regular member for the purposes of this meeting, Pat. Yep. Great. Thank you. Um, first order of business is to um, just approve the minutes from the January meeting. And I, if if you've had a chance to read them, we can do that for tonight. If not, we will table them and do that at take care of it at the March meeting. Earl, did you get a chance to look at them? I have. He wrote them. So, so the approve uh, the motion to approve has to come from you, Pat. Oh, uh, I did not get to look at them yet. So let's table it for March. Okay, we will table the minutes till March. Okay. All right, correspondence. I had a note from the town clerk that the date we picked for our November meeting is um, the Eve, Thanksgiving Eve. So part of the business tonight will be to pick another date for the November meeting. Okay. And that was the extent of correspondence. <laughs> Old business, um, we had Stan Swanson um, has sent in his letter of resignation. He has moved out of town. So we will need to accept his, reluctantly accept his res letter of resignation and thanks Stan for his several years of really great service and knowledge and participation in our commission. Can I so move? Yeah, yes. Uh, just using the language you did, move, yeah. accept with, uh, well, we don't want to say with reluctance, do we? <laughs> move to accept his resignation and-, we, and we, accept, yeah, we accept his resignation. And offer thanks for his service. Yes. Okay, so moved. Um, uh, Pat, do you second? Second. All right, all in favor? All right. All right. All right. And then Jeremy Hughes has also um, decided not to be reappointed to the commission. He served his year and um, then and said that just sent in a note that um, he was not going to continue. OK, so for that, we don't need to do anything, right? Because it was yeah. just yeah. through the yeah, time. So, yes. Okay. Um, which brings us to the desperate need for additional members. Right now we are four. Um, and so we are missing at least at least one regular member and one alternate, potentially two regular you know, or two. Um, and so we need to be thinking about new members. Pat had a couple of good suggestions that I will pursue, one of them being the um, some a resident up here on the up on the hill. The goals are to try and get um, commission members that represent all the different districts 
in yeah. Woodstock. Um, but um, it's just fine. But the biggest per goal is to get more people on the commission, serving people, active people on the commission. So I think our our job over the next month is really to um, really to to look around, see who we know, talk to people, um, come up with some ideas. The two that I had hoped might join, one from the district, two both of whom are from the district. I think I said at the last meeting weren't aren't able to join. So at least at this time, so yeah. we are we are actively looking for people. Hey. Uh, ask a quick question on that, Gail. Um, how is it written? Do they have to be uh, property owners in town? Do they have to reside in town? How does that work? They have to be um, just uh, the town. I think the town uh, website or ordinances says that to serve on a board or commission, you must be a an official resident of the town um and so because not everybody it could be a renter then it could be a renter not everybody pays taxes or is a property owner but your official place of residence needs to be woodstock so if your second home is in woodstock it doesn't qualify if you're yes that that yes that's correct if you spend more than 50 days or 100 more yeah. than yeah, yeah uh, more than a hundred and yes, uh, whatever's what one hundred and eighty three eighty three days in another location than yeah, one hundred eighty three in Woodstock, right? <laughs> uh, right, you have to have one hundred and eighty three in Woodstock. So yeah, okay. So anyway, so look, look, because there are a lot of people who have um, different residences, but. It's the the kicker is that the bulk of their time is in Woodstock or the majority. Yeah. So, so see who you can come up with. You had a couple of suggestions when we talked, Pat, and I'll pursue those. Um, and let's just see who we can find and hopefully we can fill this commission back out. Yeah. We lost some good people have um have either left town or moved on. And um so we're looking and we're looking for people with building experience, um, construction experience, architects, uh, people with landscape knowledge, people with historical backgrounds, um, and also just people who are interested in participating in actively in, in Woodstock. Okay. So, and that's all I have for old business does anybody have anything else that might be considered old business i don't um then new business the next thing is to come up with a better october november date november 27th is thanksgiving eve i'm guessing <coughs> none of us want to spend that no matter how short the meeting is with the historic district commission meeting so uh -huh. About November 20th, just one week earlier. Does that work? That works for me. Okay. Do what I need on, on the Wednesday? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Can I propose that as a motion? It needs to be a motion. All right. I'll move to change the date to uh, November 20th. Second. Great. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks. Because, and we had to do it as a formal motion, Pat, because we approved the meeting dates at the last meeting and I've submitted them to the town clerk. So I got, yeah, I was wondering why it needed to be a motion. Yep. That's the reason. Okay. Um, let's see. The other, only other new business, which really is not too much. Um, yes. A little bit is updates. The Dawson's are, have put in their fencing. It looks, if you haven't seen it, I know Pat, some, of it. Seen it. some of it, yeah. Um, yep, they still have uh, quite a bit more to go, and their uh, structures for the horses have started to go up. Yep, yep. So they're, and it all looks once after you get over the initial surprise at seeing fencing there, 
then it just blends into the landscape and it looks like it's been there forever. So, yeah, no, I, I drove by it and I noticed it. It looked fine. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and uh, then the other thing to think about is if some point in time and when the weather is better, um, we want to do some kind of outreach to our to the residents, whether that's a meet and greet or just a publication, just a let a newsletter updating, um, then or something in collaboration with the historical society going forward. It just something to, for us to start thinking about. We have a little bit of money in the budget for it, not a lot, but a small amount for it. So it's it's always good to try and reach out to the residents. Okay. So who would we possibly work with, the Historical Society? Yeah, we've done that in the past. Um, we I think there's at least on two occasions that we held um, uh, uh, residents and anybody else. It was open yep. to the public meeting at the um, at Palmer Hall, where yep. we yep. answered questions, presented a tiny little intro, you know, overview program about the district, yep. um, and then opened it up for questions. Okay. It was you know, about and probably maybe a quarter of the of the residents showed up. Yep. So, all right. So, other than that, I have nothing else. Nor do I. Bat, you want to move to adjourn? And you're you're muted, but I'll make a motion to adjourn. Thanks, Pat. I'll second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. The motion is carried, and the meeting is adjourned. And we have been lucky. I would just make one comment. We have been very lucky that, you know, we've gone for months, at, well, several months with, with minimal or easy um, applications to do or no applications. I have yeah. a, this this feeling of the, the anvil hanging over my head that <laughs> at some point, someone's, that's surely the floodgates will open and people will start doing things again. I'm going to have for my house coming up, but it's nothing major. It's just, uh, just more windows. Uh, more windows. Okay. <laughs> Easy keep, enough. We yeah. can do windows. Yeah. You just keep, you keep chunking away at that. Pat. <laughs> yeah. It's the it, uh, old house fixer upper. It's a never ending thing. Tell me about it. My house is 1805. Yeah. It's always requiring work. Yes. <laughs> but it's and, not uh, district, so you're, yeah, yeah. That's it is. It is. There's pluses and minuses to yeah, that. Yeah, that does a really such Pat. You do such a good job of trying to, you know, consult with the district when you have things to do. So you're a good example for the district. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Every every time I put in a new window, we see a difference on our heating bill. So. Oh, there you go. Excellent. All right. Yeah. Over, that might be that might be an interesting program to do and when we're thinking about now we're off the clock we're thinking about things to do for members um commission members i'm um, not commission members but district members yeah. um it might be interesting to have the circuit writer come up and and talk about windows because that's probably yeah. one of the biggest things people deal with in yeah. their old houses uh, throughout <laughs> and and what the different options are and what and what what will keep what's in within in keeping with the district regulations, but will also meet the needs of the homeowner. And you know, we've got Pat here, who's uh, you know, who's doing the doing the work. And you get a lot of people that think that you know it, it's the normal thing of people think that well, that's not a historic house, you know, so it doesn't matter. Um, or this or that. Um, and then they think that whatever windows are there, you have to keep the single pane glass and everything else. And that's not necessarily the case. And uh, with uh, energy efficiency and cost of heating, what it is, it's a, you know, it's a good thing to let people know about. Right, it is. Um, and we've had people who in the district who have secretively 
swapped out their windows after and never come before us until they were called before us. Um, and we've also had people like Pat who, you know, who we work with to get the best solution to their needs. So well, I think the previous owner of my house, um, one of the founding members of the district pulled up some of those sneaky projects. <laughs> So it's, you know, and, and energy efficiency is becoming more and more important. Um, Plus the environmental impact of it. Is, anyway, it's something to think about whether, yeah. if, you know, yeah, and I'm sure. Yeah, that, good thing for the the um, residents program because it'll save the money yep. if they realize that they can change windows for more efficient ones without, you know, we'll approve them. We want them to come forward, but right, generally right. people are going to approve them. And understand that there are some restrictions in right, terms of right. styles and all, but also they, I think the, and there are also ways to make your existing windows more efficient as right. well. Oh, so okay. you run the, you offer all of the different information and also yeah. you include, this is what you really can't do or shouldn't do. Yeah. Um, and, but, you know, it's a good information session. I think well, the circuit good. might come out. So in my experience also is that our district and our commission looks at property updates, right? Like windows a lot differently than some other town commissions, some other towns. Oh, you better not touch that, that single pane glass that has to stay there. You can have it reglazed and everything, but you're that you cannot put in a vinyl window. Absolutely. Not. Um, and some towns do that. And uh, it's nice that we don't. Um, I agree. So. Okay. Um, yep. Another thing for just for you guys to keep in the back of your mind coming up, um, I will be putting in uh, some stuff, uh, an application for um, another structure on my property um, for housing and livestock. Oh, nice. What are you going to get? So, so well, I already have cows and everything else, but uh, this structure is something that I'm doing uh, through a cost share uh, program with the uh, United States Department of Agriculture, uh, Natural Resource Conservation Service, um, and I might be working on some uh, um, uh, rural restoration grant stuff with that as well. So very interesting. Just um, get get to us, get to us before. Before you start getting approved, I mean, keep us in the loop, remember, so that you don't get tripped up by something that takes us longer to deal with. Right. Well, the problem is, is that I it has to be planned, right? I have to get all of the information from it. Like, and I already, I used to actually work for this department, Um I have to get all the specifics and the plans to be able to present you guys with dimensions of the building, this, that, whatever else. So I have to, you know, work towards it, but between what I have in mind for what we're going to, for what we're looking at doing, it's, uh, and, and the building materials I'm looking at, um, along with the, uh, you know, bringing in the, uh, uh, the right to farm town and whatnot. Um, I don't think there should be any issues, but once yeah. I get more specifics on that, we'll, we will revisit. I'll put an application. We'll revisit. Good. Glad to help you in that. Glad to, to, to participate in that and support that. And like I said, what, what we don't just be mindful of um, calendars and schedules, although we can always hold a special oh, meeting. Oh, special. Yeah. If something comes up where you're up against a deadline and we're not going to meet for four weeks or something. So know right. that, you know, so I look forward to hearing about that. Yeah, it sounds like an interesting project. Yes. Okay. I'm about to go. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Bye. All right. Take care. Bye.